This one, hi Lynn. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Can you see this one? So we yeah. have here different vocabulary. So we have arsonist, people who commits the crime of arson, a person who commits a crime, a building where people are kept, a Spanish man for a crime they have committed or while they are waiting for the trials. The crime of killing somebody deliberately to kill somebody deliberately and illegally. Not having the skill, strength, time, knowledge to do something. So it means a piece of equipment for catching animals. Trap, you will go into trap. Determine to discover the fact about something. The next, to catch a person or an animal and keep them as prisoner or shut them in a space that they cannot escape from. Fascinate, to attract or interest somebody very much. Tiddle down, to get into a comfortable position, either sitting or lying to become or make somebody become calm. Appeal, to make a deeply felt request, especially for something that is needed immediately. Outlaw means a person who has done something illegal and is hiding to avoid being caught. So we have here, Lynn, are you familiar with this? Okay. The woman they think committed the crime is suspect. How about the people who started the crime? Please under uh please. Read the sentences below and try to think of the I think we do this already. We done? Yes. This one? Yes. Please tell me how where we stop. This one? Yes. Yes. This one? Oh, so 8C is correct. I ate. This is 8C. So we are now 9, 8F, 8C. That's 8D. See? Okay, please wait me for a moment. Okay, this one. Okay, so how about this? Okay, still in unit 8, but F, a crime. Australian murder mystery. Okay, look at this one. Do you know any stories about unexplained death? Think about TV drama, films, and books, okay? Okay, do you think, do you know any stories about unexplained death? Do you know about TV drama, films, and books? We oh, yeah. are uh, lead. Okay, so we have here, find the words for these items in the first two paragraphs. Please just underline it. Sample. Okay, matches. Okay, please find the words.
sure I'm finished. Okay, so we have matches. Okay, combed. Okay, we have brushes, knife, scissors, a wallet. Okay, so we have here vocabulary. A person is going past somebody or something by a chance, especially when something unexpected happens. Okay, to be the first person to become aware that a particular place or thing exists, discover it. Launch it means to start an activity, especially an organized one. Investigation, it is an official examination of the fact about situations, about crime, etc. The process of showing, proving, or recognizing who or what somebody is something is. Next, a mark made by a pattern of lines on the tip of a person's finger, often used by police to identify criminals. Next, to recognize somebody, something, and be able to say who or what they are. Breakthrough, it's important development that will lead to an agreement or achievement. Reveal, to make something known to somebody. Okay. Label, it's a piece of paper that is attached to something and it gives information about it. Clue, object, a piece of evidence or some information that helps the police solve a crime. Third, to damage by something by pulling it apart or into pieces or by cutting it on sh something sharp. To become damaged in this way. Okay, cross out. To draw a line through a word, usually because it is wrong. Another is mystery. Something that is difficult to understand or explain. Something that is difficult to understand or explain. Mystery. Now, please try to complete the compound nouns with the words below. Which one is written as single word? Okay.
pengen anak ini karena seniman. Oke, okay. okay. murder investigation, very good. Train ticket, chewing gum, fingerprints, dental records, an open top car, telephone number, secret code. Oh, very good. Yeah, great job. Fingerprints is written as single word, only one word. Fingerprints, one word only. So we read the text, Lynn. This mystery is sometimes called the Tamam Shod case. What? The word Tamam Shod means we're on a small piece of paper in a secret pocket inside dead man's trousers. Tamam Shod. We're on a small piece of paper in a secret pocket inside dead man's trousers. So we have here. Who was the Samaritan man? We have here the Samaritan man. Okay. Look at this one. You look at the sentence beginning below. Can you complete them? Okay, this one. These are sentences. Can you complete? You can write your answer in the chat box to complete that one. Okay, you can write the complete answer. I mean the answer that needs to be completed. Not all. If you think it's long, you can write what is the next word or next words.
Personal. Bien, lo voy a hacer. Ah. 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 See their presence in every corner of your throat. No. Um, so many pictures. Um, I Where you look, shutting the heat up. Okay. Don't ask. Hey. Hey. Remember, Aldrich is your boyfriend. Sex is okay. Hear it. Hear what? I know it's a sad one. Let me hear it. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so the suitcase did not help to identify the man because somebody had removed the labels. Yeah, this one. Okay, somebody removed the labels of. Okay. Labels from most of his clothes and did, and another label from other suitcase itself. So that's the reason the suitcase the suitcase did not help to identify the man because somebody removed the labels. Okay, another university professor John Cleland was the only person who found a clue that everybody else had missed. A small piece of paper in a secret pocket inside the desk. Man's trousers. The two clothes contained in the book with the missing page were, were dropped into his okay, dropped into his top car on the day the day after the man Somerton Beach died. After they've interviewed the nurse, the police wrongly though after they had interviewed the nurse. The police wrongly in thought that the message was in a secret 
code and this one the police found two close telephone number and a message and they think that the message was in the secret code there's a secret code for that one after many investigation we know we now know the telephone, the telephone number belonged to the nurse she said she had given a copy of the book to the soldier called Alfred Boxall in 1945. Finally, the police had solved the mystery. Obviously, the man was Alfred Boxall because of the nice. Okay. So there was only one problem. Alf Alfred Boxall was still alive. Oh, the police found him and interviewed him. What is more, he still had his copy of the book and the mystery of the body on Somerton Beach continued. So what about the mystery five blind message? Could that contain the answer to this puzzle? Perhaps, but unfortunately, we do not know what the message says. Nobody has ever solved the secret code. Okay, that's but actually, who did thought Alfred is not alive? He is he is alive. Okay, so that's the reason. And the secret code is not yet solved. Okay, circle the correct answers for this one. The suitcase did not help to identify the man because nothing in it had a name. So there is no name. So university professor John Cleland was the only person who found the secret pocket in the dead man's trousers. Okay, number three. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so the two clothes contained in the book with the missing page were blank, were a secret message and a nurse telephone number. After they have interviewed the nurse, the police wrongly thought that the dead man was Alfred Boxan. He thought that the dead man is Alfred Boxan. Okay, number five. After many investigation, we know now okay, where the piece of paper containing the words Taman should come. Okay, so Read the secret message and find out one more mysterious fact about Somerton Man case. Okay, so do you know the secret message? Yeah. X. The secret message is this one. X is W, I is, oh, I didn't know where's the I. And then F and zero. It's hard. Okay. So what do you think happened? Did he kill himself or did a murderer kill him? I think. Okay. What do you think? Did you read the story, the Somerton Man case? What do you think? Did he kill himself or did the murderer kill him? I think he is a, a murderer kill him. Okay, a murderer kill him. So he did not commit suicide. Okay, so he did not commit suicide instead. Okay, somebody kill him. Okay, somebody actually kill him. Okay, so Lynn... We don't have enough time, so teacher and we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.